Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're, oh my hands are ashy, excuse me. If you are new here, hi my name is EJ and if you're not new, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to be continuing with my sunscreen on dark skin series. And the sunscreen I'm going to be reviewing today is the Peter Thomas Roth Water Drenched Broad Spectrum SPF 45 Sunscreen. Okay, so this recently launched and I've been testing it out and in today's video, I'm going to be demoing it for you guys and telling you what I think about it. Some of you also asked me for my updated skincare routine. So I'm just going to be showing you my morning skincare routine and then I'll finish up with the sunscreen application. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and jump right in. But if you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure to do so and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any uploads from me. And follow me on Instagram where I share similar content. Okay, so before I jump into my routine, I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about my skin. I have oily, acne prone skin with post inflammatory hyperpigmentation and just some general discoloration as well. So, those are the issues I try to treat in my skincare routine. I keep my morning routine fairly simple because I don't like the feeling of heavy layers of product on my skin as I go through my day. I save my intense skincare routine for my nighttime routine. So my morning skincare routine is usually a cleanser, a treatment and a moisturizer stroke SPF. The cleanser I use today is the First Aid Beauty Pure Skin Cleanser. And it's one of my favorite cleansers. It's just a really nice basic cleanser that removes the dirt off my face without making my face feel overly dry and it also doesn't leave a film on my skin my skin just feels really clean when i use this and it's one of my favorite cleansers i'll do a whole video on my favorite cleansers sometime this week or next week um, but this is just one of the many cleansers that i use if you have acne prone skin there are also many amazing cleansers that help with that these cleansers contain salicylic acid or benzoyl peroxide i'm going to talk more about them in my upcoming cleanser video but yeah, I basically just cleanse my face. The cleanser I use changes from day to day depending on my mood or my needs. But like I said, today I use the one from First Aid Beauty. So after I cleanse, I treat. Okay, when it comes to treatment, I tend to gravitate towards my PTR niacinamide discoloration treatment because I have um, post inflammatory hyperpigmentation. That is my biggest skincare concern after acne. And so um, I just like to use something that addresses that every day. And these PTR treatments can be used both morning and night. Um, there are a few other things that I also like to use in the morning depending on my mood. So sometimes I use the good molecules niacinamide brightening treatment. I really like niacinamide. It's one of my favorite ingredients because it addresses a lot of skincare concerns that I have oiliness, um, uneven skin tone, and everything like that. So if you have acne prone skin, that's a really nice, gentle ingredient to include in your routine. So last but not least, I do a moisturizer and sunscreen. I prefer for my sunscreen and moisturizer to be one single product because like I said, I don't like that feeling of layering tons of different products on my face. So I do a cleanser, a toner or a treatment. I, don't, I usually don't do both. If I use a toner, then my toner contains really great ingredients. Or if I use a treatment, then I skip a toner. And then my sunscreen is a moisturizing sunscreen. So this is my summer routine, basically. Um, in the winter, I do more layers of hydration and I can do toner and treatment and moisturizer and sunscreen as separate products. But in the summer time, what feels most comfortable for me is to have as few layers of skincare as possible. So um, today's sunscreen and moisturizer is the Peter Thomas Roth Hydra Drench. I always accidentally call it Hydra Quench, but it is the Hydra Drench Broad Spectrum SPF 45 Hyaluronic Cloud Moisturizer. Um, this is a UVA and UVB sunscreen, which means it's broad spectrum, which means it protects you from um, all the different kinds of um, sun rays. And it's a cream to water invisible finish with 30% hyaluronic acid complex that locks in hydration for up to 72 hours. You get 50 ml of product. I don't remember how much it retails for, but I will link it right down below. This is a chemical sunscreen. Someone asked me what does that mean? And it means that instead of using physical filters like zinc oxide, use this chemical filters to protect you from the sun. I'm going to do another video on physical versus chemical sunscreen sometime this month, but I wanted to just quickly address that in this video what a physical sunscreen is and what a chemical sunscreen is. I'm going to go ahead and apply it so you guys can see what it looks like. 
I like that it has a pump. Ooh, it has a lot of sunscreen. I've already done my brows, so I'm trying not to get it on my brows. Don't forget to cover your ears in sunscreen. Now that my hair is super short and doesn't cover my ears, I always make sure to get my ears. So that's what it looks like. It gives a really nice, beautiful glow and it does not leave a cast on deep skin. So it is EJ approved. <laughs> I'm always on the hunt for good sunscreens that don't leave a cast on deep skin. And this one is really great. It's very, very hydrating. My skin is glowing. So yeah, that's what the PTR sunscreen looks like on me. Obviously, I like it. PTR makes really great products and um, I've liked pretty much everything I've tried from them. And you guys have been asking me what I think about this sunscreen and I like it. I prefer chemical sunscreens because they look better on deeper skin and in my opinion the best sunscreen is the one that you're actually going to wear properly um, so for that reason I tend to gravitate towards chemical sunscreens because they don't leave a cast I can wear them in the correct quantity and actually get the sun protection that I should be getting there's a plain person can you guys hear it so yeah, this sunscreen gets a thumbs up from me. It looks great. I really like the glow that it gives to the skin. It feels great. There is no white cast going on here. It's very lightweight and very comfortable to wear. If it gets in your eyes, it does burn a little bit. So be careful not to get it into your eyes. Um, but overall, I really like it. And if you guys are wondering what I think about it, I like it. <laughs> So yeah, that was my quick morning routine and my review of the brand new PTR sunscreen. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. I will leave a link to everything I've used in the comments down below as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. This recently launched and I've been trying it out and today I'm going to... It's been such a long time since I filmed that I cannot seem to speak normally on camera. Ooh.